welcome to my channel made with love by sarah so today we're going to make a birthday card and i have my basket of things here so we're going to be using the garden gnomes collection from crafters companion and this is the things that i've got out of the collection so we're going to make a just a, a normal top fold tent fold card and let's get started let's pop those to one side so we don't need those so what i've done is a a4 piece of paper i've cut it down to six inches scored it at five and seven eighths Scoreboard. So five and seven eighths is one notch, so that's six inches. So one notch before is five and seven eighths. So I've just scored the card at five and seven eighths. I've got this piece of blue for um for the mat. And this measures let's have a look five and three quarters by five and a half. And in the gnomes collection you get a paper pad, and this is just one of the cutouts that was in the paper pad, and that is five and a half by five and a quarter. So we're just going to stick these together so that they can be drying and then we need to do some stamping and a bit of colouring. So I'll do the oops, wrong way. So I'll do these first and then they can be drying. Just your normal mat and layering. We're using Kalal All Purpose Glue. It's my favourite go to glue is what I do generally use. I'll just pop that in there, centering it as much as as much as I can. It's basically a card made. So now we just need to decorate it. So a piece of scrap scrap paper. And I'm gonna use my the board for cutting so I've taken out some stamps already let's have a look what we've got let's have a look what we've got let's get rid of that basket and there's some dies so we're going to stamp it and then cut it out Cut out what we've done with the dies. So first of all, let's get our stamping block. I'm just going to stamp it on this piece of scrap that I've got. And get all the stamping done. This sentiment's quite cute. It says, there's no one like you. So these are some of the sayings. It's quite cute. Oh, sweet gnome. There's no one like you. Happy birthday. There's no place like gnome. Hello, summer. Best friends, no matter what. There's no better time than summertime. And wish you were here. So I'm just going to use there's no one like you. Because it's this card's for a special, special person. So I'm just going to stamp that up there. There we go, that's stamped. So let's get a, a baby wipe. Just give that a clean and then we can get rid of that. So that one's done. So I'm just going to put it back in my basket so that I can put them away. This is a guy gnome. We 
just need to do a little bit of colouring on him. Not, not a lot. It's really easy. And you don't have to be really good at blending, etc. We're going to put a little barbecue on there. Because we're going to colour it in, it doesn't matter. You see, if you see, I've missed a bit on the the foot there, but it's not a problem. So on here, we've got the little barbecue tools. Oh, put them a bit further apart, and then there's plenty of room for cutting them out. I do them two together. Oh, that's not done very good. The beauty of this is, you just do it again. There we go, that's better. I'm full of cold at the minute. So I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. And there's his little apron that we'll put on. And we've got a happy birthday there that we'll just stamp into the middle of the card. So I'm just going to wipe my block, clean that up, pop my lid back on the ink. And now we need to do a bit of colouring. So I've got these tri blends from Spectrum Noir. Uh, it's the full set of tri blends in here, 24 of them. And there's this, you also get a stencil in this kit, can you see? So this is for the, the apron. So I'm just going to layer that on. I think it's upside down. There we go, that's better. I'm just going to layer that on. No, uh, isn't that for his trousers? Yes, that's for his trousers to make his trousers stripy. But I don't want stri stripy trousers. So I'm going to use blue turquoise blend. So first of all, I'm going to colour his trousers just all over. Like I say, you don't have to be too careful. I'm going to use the middle, the middle colour. I'm going to just come out from the edges and where I think the dark bits, the shadow would be. And I'm just going to blend that in with the light one again. Well, you don't have to do this, you can just actually colour them in. So I've got the dark one now at the other end. And I'm just going to do the edges. Just go around the edges and where I think it should be darker. And I'm going to go back in with my middle one and blend, blend that across. And then go back in with the light bit and that just gives you a bit bit of shading that's for the hat just gonna color that and we're just gonna use the darker one just around middle one this is the middle one sorry just around the edges, go back in with a lighter one and pull that darker one out so it blends. And again, just go around the outside edge with the darker one. I'm just going to flick it, flick it into the middle. And 
we've got across the bottom. And then back in with the middle one. So I'm just pulling the darker one into the middle one. And then I'm going to pull the middle one into the lighter one. And it looks like the shading on it, and that should depth dimension. So this one is the ice grey blend. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the beard. Really just following the, the lines on his beard, around his nose. I'm just going to put some squiggly lines. That's it for his beard. And then this one is called Fair Skin. I'm just going to go in with the lighter one and just colour his nose. But I've just left a little circle in the middle. And fill this around his hat. I'm just going to do the dark one. I'm not going to blend that out. I'm just going to colour that in the darker blue that I used before. Uh, what colour shoes shall we have? I think dark red. So I'm just going to give him some dark red shoes. And that's why it didn't matter that the bottom of his feet just didn't stand properly. You just colour it in and nobody will know. And I'm going to go for the medium red. On the dark red blend, I'm just going to go for the medium red. But again, I'm not going to blend. I'm just going to colour it in. And I'll colour his hat, the rim of his hat in red, just to brighten it up a bit. And that's the gnome done. So we'll do, we'll go for this brown, what's it called? Tan brown. And I'll colour the the meat in the lighter colour. And I'll go around the barbecue. Then I'll go with a bit of the medium on the brown just to go around the edges. And then just blend that in. I'm just going to use the two colours on the barbecue. Nice and easy. Put a little bit of the darker brown around the meat. Nobody wants to eat a burger that's not cooked. Just blend that in. So I'm just going to snip these apart now. Throw that one away because I didn't like them. So with the ice grey again, I'm going to try and make these look like a bit of silver. So I'm just using the medium in the ice grey blend. Again, I'm not blending, I'm just cutting it and colouring them in. And with the tan blend again, I'll just do his hands to match his nose. 
we're nearly there we just need to color in the apron and i'm going to do that in gold yellow blend i'm just going to do it in yellow the lighter one And then I'm going to do the other bits in the dark red, but I'm going to go for the medium in the dark red. Not blending, just colouring that in. And there we go, that's my bits coloured in. We just need to let's pop the colours to one side. We need some double sided tape. So now we just need to cut these out. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tape just to hold my the dies in place <coughs> oh excuse me like I say I'm full of cold at the minute One of my favourite sets, these, this gnome set, Crafty's Companion. Oh, got that a bit wonky. Let's do that again, I got that a bit wonky. There we go. I'm going to use my Gemini Mini for these because they're only little. And we'll cut them out. So that's, the, that's the note. Maybe I could get all these in together. I can. So we need to flip and rotate a folder every time. That's the pieces. Didn't use the stencil. So for the stencil, what you could do is you could put it on his hat. And you can colour in the, the things in his shorts. And you can make patterns. You say, excuse me, I just had to blow my nose. And so our card should be dry now. And I'm just going to place these on where I think they should go. There's his little pinny. I'm covering up all my colouring. Never mind. And you've got his hands let's just pop that to one side I need to do my uh, get the guillotine
and square this square this off so what i'm doing is i'm looking for the top of the writing and i'm just putting that level with the finger guard so i've got a reference point and just chop that and because now i know that that's straight i can put that up against the side and i know that my sentiment's going to be straight and i've got a scrap of glue that i'm just going to put that on and just chop no I need to be too precise with it oh i've just dropped the guillotine So I'll just stick that on there. It's a really easy card, but it looks really nice. And it looks like it's you know been a lot of work, but it's really not. So I'm gonna pop some of these things up on foam pads. The sentiment, I'll pop that up on a and form give it a bit of dimension because i'm posting it uh, i'm going to put a few on because i don't want it to go flat pull off the backing pieces I'm going to pop that in the corner. And for the norm, I'll pop up the barbecue and I'll use these little, little foam pads that I got from Hobbycraft, <laughs> as you can see. But I'm going to chop the one at the bottom I'm just going to chop that in half and then I've got tiny foam pads for the legs and then I just need another one for the middle Keep it on level. Pull the back enough. Makes a very nice man's card, this. And the man that I'm making it for loves barbecuing. So, perfect for him. So, I'm not going to stick that up on foil. I'm just going to stick this straight on. Tried to show a bit of his blue blue trousers. And I'm gonna pop this up on form. Again, take the backing off. We don't want him in the river, do we? Or do we want him standing in the river? Let's not have him standing in the river. 
And for these, I'm going to pop a little foam pad on the end. And then I'm going to use my precision tip glue. Take the backing off. And I'm going to pop a bit of glue on his hand. Because we want that bit stuck. Onto the dome. But we want the fork to stand up at the same height as the gnome so take the backing off bit of glue on his hand easy as that that's the front of the card done so now we're just going to stamp happy birthday in the middle. I'm just looking to make sure that I've got it level on my block with the grid lines. And stamp it in the middle. That a wipe and then all that could go away put the lid on the ink and there we have our tent fold there's no one like you happy birthday card from the gnomes collection from crafters companion just a quick easy card today Thank you very much for watching, spending your time with me. I do appreciate it. If you like what you've seen, then think about subscribing to my channel uh, and have a look at my other cards and bags and boxes that are on my channel. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.